For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at point A right here. So basically what I always like to do is break down the forces into X and Y components. This, com this force has a X component like that and a Y component like that. To calculate them, let's call this F of Y, let's call this tiny one here F of X. F of Y is equal to 900 times the cosine of 30 going down, so it's negative. And it comes out to be minus 779 into J. And F of X is equal to 900 sine of 30, which comes out to be 450 in the I. So now that we have the X and Y components, we can calculate the start by the sum of the forces in the X. The only one we have is F of X, so the sum of the forces in the X come out to be 450 went to the right. Sum of the forces in the Y is equal to F of Y, which is minus 779 minus 300, which is this force also going down, which means that minus 1079 is equal to the sum of the forces in the Y which means that the resultant force, which is the addition of this two, is equal to 450i minus 1079j. The magnitude of this resultant force given by the x component square plus the y component square is given by 1169 newtons. And the angle Remember, this is 450 going to the right and 1079 going down. So this is the resultant force. This is the angle. Let's call it beta. Is equal to the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component. And it comes out to be negative 67.4 degrees. Negative because it's going down. I added the negative. The calculator should give you 67.4. So now we're gonna calculate the sum of the moments at A. Now we already have a, let's assume that going clockwise is positive. This 300 Newton meter moment is going counterclockwise, so it's minus 300 Newton meters. I'm not gonna put the, the Newton meters right now. Now the force in the Y is turning this short lever arm of length 0.75 and it's turning it clockwise, so it's positive, plus F of Y, which is 779 times 0 0.75. Then you have this 300 Newton force turning this lever arm of 0 0.75 times 3, which is 2.25, also clockwise. So it's 300 times 2.25. And when you plug this into your calculator, you get that the answer is 959 Newton meters positive, therefore it's going clockwise. So this is the moment. This is the angle of the force. And this is the magnitude of the resultant force. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.